meteorologist John Hill. Weather coverage you can count on. Weather headlines on News Channel 6. Brought to you by Nixon Roofing. you can count on begins with more police presence in downtown Augusta. This following a shooting that happened last week. Here's News Channel 6's Isabella Moody. A week after the shooting on Broad Street, we talked to people in the community on how they feel about downtown. People shouldn't be scared to come downtown. Like, if we can get Richmond County to work with us instead of against us, we can make it better. McCarthy is the general manager of a popular bar and restaurant. He says while the area is not bad, there's still room for improvements. There are pop-up booths and food vendors all over the place. We have to go through, we have to jump through 36 hoops to have ourselves here. And you've got these cats just setting up girls out on the side of the street, and they're selling booze out of coolers unregulated. Like, that is the problem. In an effort to ease minds, Augusta Mayor Garnett Johnson released a statement reminding parents that most restaurants downtown stop serving food at 10 p.m. Also, minors must be accompanied by an adult if out past that time. There, there's no place for a kid to be. If you're not 21, you can't get into any of the businesses. Like, you have no business being down here. Some businesses were shut down the next day due to the road being blocked. People who work in the area say they wanted more information the following day due to having to close their doors. I don't know what it's going to take to fix it. I do know it is a big problem. Okay, cool, great. Get more cops down here. That's nice. But let's make sure that they have the proper training, tools, and know-how to do their job appropriately, you know, and actually make people feel safe. That's part of the mayor's plans for the downtown area. In his statement, the mayor says starting tonight, there will be an increase in security, patrols, and additional help from the Georgia State Patrol to keep downtown safe. It's not going to stop until we as a community come together. We have to come together. Cops and assistants. We all have to come together. It's not black or white. It's not cop or citizen. It's us. In Augusta, Isabel Moody, WJBF News Channel 6. Several people living in the Turpin Hill neighborhood are speaking out about recent vandalism and mischief involving children and adults. Neighbors on 6th Avenue say the instance with children start in the evening and go all night long. They say rocks are being thrown, glass windows broken and shattered. Folks we spoke with say they've called the police, but nothing has been done about it. Most of the victims are older adults, and they say they're afraid to leave their homes or let their kids or grandchildren play outside. So my greatest fear is, is safety for me and everybody else, too, but especially these young kids. They're trying to integrate into coming to join them, to do bad with them. You know what I'm saying? They show no respect. They come across me up. My motion light come on. And the last thing they did this week, when the motion light came on, uh, they said sorry. But it was our eight of them kept on walking. Do something. Don't just tell us where they kids. We can't do nothing about it and let it go. Williams and her neighbors asked that something be done by law enforcement to make sure their neighborhood is safe. Three people are charged with stealing dozens of cans of baby formula from several Columbia County stores. The suspects named here are facing felony shoplifting charges. Columbia County deputies arrested a trio at the Kroger on Jimmy Dice Parkway Thursday after receiving calls from other stores reporting stolen goods. Deputies found that the suspects have stolen about $5,000 worth of baby formula from nearby Walmarts, Kroger's, and Publix's. Parents we spoke to were sickened by this, especially when some babies need a specific type of formula. I don't think that anybody should be stealing anything, especially baby formula, because, I mean, that's, people need that, and they, they have to be able to access it. Um, and if it's stolen and no one can get to it, then we have to go without. 
At last check, the suspects are in the detention center. The investigation is ongoing, but the sheriff's office is still trying to return that stolen formula. Sherry joins us now with a quick check of the forecast. You said hot, hot, hot. Is it going to rain? There's a chance. Okay. <laughs> so I could deal with the heat, a little bit of rain. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. we need the rain. It's so dry out there, and that would give us a little break from the heat. So That's true. fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But, but only where there's not festivities going on There today. you go. We got a lot of yeah, stuff, a lot going, stuff on. going on. Mm -hmm. All right. If I could get our camera behind us, I could show you a beautiful shot on our Skyview Camp. There we go. So here we are. We've got some beach cams in Florida in Clearwater. Beautiful shot there. So we look at the waves in Florida. But here it's all about the heat waves. So right now, already in the 70s in many places across the board. 70 in Barnwell, 72 in Saluda. Still in the upper 60s at 68 degrees here in Augusta. If we look at the big picture with our satellite and radar, not a whole lot of clouds showing up right now. And yes, you see a cold front, but there is nothing cold about it. It's today, it's all about the heat. So yesterday, we made it to 94 degrees. Average is 91 this time of year. So certainly above average yesterday, and that trend continues for today. As we go through the day, starting off in the 80s by 9 o'clock into the 90s by lunchtime, and topping off in the mid to upper 90s. But check out the feels like temps. When you factor in that humidity, it's going to feel more like triple digit heat so certainly pretty dangerous out there if you spend a lot of time outdoors so make sure you stay hydrated and stay cool when possible so our first heat wave of the season and we'll talk about the temperatures and that slight slight rain chance we might see over the weekend all coming up in your full forecast back to you sean all right sounds good sherry thank you soon people in evans will soon see a new habitat for native birds and plants birds georgia and local conservation groups got twenty five thousand dollars in grants the first step is to remove invasive plants from the 11th acre site. You can help with the planting of native birds and wildlife. You can find that link on WJBF.com. If you need some extra help with groceries, we all do. There's a food drive that's happening in Wagner. It's from 9.30 until 10.30 over at the fire department. When you get there, stay in your car, and those volunteers will let you know where to go. And there are income requirements. The Smart Box in Allendale County is hosting a young male entrepreneur and mentorship program. It's called 50 Men and 50 Boys. It will take place today from 10 until 1 over at the county courthouse. The program pairs young boys with adult male mentors to provide positive guidance. Today's session will include the chair. Uh, and what happens with the chair is, is that you have a father that is confronting a son. And the son is sitting in the chair and the son gets to tell him everything that has hurt him, everything that has burdened him, and how he really doesn't like his father. He doesn't want to be anything like his father. So since he doesn't want to be like his father, he has that chance to be able to release that out in, out in the open. And that takes a lot of courage. Because in that room, you'll have other boys. You'll have fathers. You'll have had fathers and that did not have fathers. So it's going to be a moment. And a lot of folks will be out there, local councils, lawyers, educators, pastors, and organizations. Several Juneteenth celebrations are taking place here at the CSRA this weekend. Today's events include the Augusta Museum of History's annual Juneteenth celebration. That's from 10 until 5 at their location on Reynolds Street. Daring's Juneteenth celebration in Deering. That's from 10 until 2 at the Daring Walking Track and Gym. Aiken's Juneteenth celebration is from 11 to 3 over at the Center for African American History, Art, and Culture. That's on York Street Southeast. Jefferson County Juneteenth celebration will be from 11 to 6 over at Wren's Middle School on the Walking Park over there. At Unity Fest at Pendleton King Park, that's from noon to 5. And finally, the Juneteenth Parade at Waynesboro that will be in downtown starting at 1. Of course, we have more events on WJBF.com. The Ridge Peach Festival is back. How it all came about. We have both details. Yes,
century, the small town of Trenton has celebrated its annual Peach Ridge Festival. It all began when community leaders decided to start promoting the area's thriving peach industry. Oh, they were famous around here. There were guys who um, dressed up and they did It's Raining Men. It was great. And they won a lot of contests, but they were they were one of the favorites. I think it was one night at the, at the beauty contest. Yeah. They decided to make their entrance. Okay. Well, it brought the house down. And the festival is today from 9 to 4 in the heart of Trenton. Carolina Moon Distillery isn't just about the spirits, it's where history and flavor meet. I went to the distillery to uncover its unique blend of tradition and taste. It's just really a great American story because they started here, it was, it was two guys and, and another fellow, the still master, and within five years we'd outgrown the space. <laughs> Step into Carolina Moon Distillery, where manager Martha McDonald and her dog Sammy share stories blending local history and distillery. We have stories about where the names came from, what's happened to this building. There's even a touch of Disney magic here, with Walt Disney creating the second version of that darn cat. This was the candy store. So when you came in the front door, there's two bookcase, bookcases, display cases, and they were built by Disney. They built them and just left them behind so it's been very useful for us <laughs> <laughs> this is where local ingredients shine they craft bourbon whiskey vodka and a unique peach rum meticulous craftsmanship defines their spirits so this is the still that we started with it's 150 170 gallons um this is a a uh, thumper and this actually came out of a dairy so we recycle things and then we have the worm. This is the cooling chamber for the whiskey um, that would have cold water running through there. And, and for the engineering types, there's 100 feet of copper. The company's specialized flavors set it apart from big box stores. Their spirits have found their way across the globe from yeah. Scotland to Japan. That meant people had to come in here, buy the product, and take it or ship it themselves. Okay? Now, the good thing out of COVID is we can ship. Now, they're expanding their reach into canned cocktails with new products and partnerships like their collaboration with Dirty Girl Mixers. They had the food license. <laughs> we had the liquor license. And so uh, they negotiated for a while and then went ahead and bought us out and took very good care of those of us that stayed. McDonald hopes to expand the distillery in the future. I'm predicting within two years that there will be either another distillery or moved to a larger location. And uh, that's, that's just because the product line is just expanding with the help of the Dirty Girl people. This is my most dangerous beverage. It's 100% corn distilled six times. Carolina Moon Distillery is more than just a place to sample spirits. It's a hub of local culture and history. Visitors leave with not just a bottle of whiskey, but a story and a connection to a town that cherishes its past while crafting a promising future. And Martha, thank you for allowing Reggie and I to come to your disability. Sherry has a check of your forecast and it looks like it's a present. Mm -hmm. She let us know. Details. The News Channel 6 mobile app is now even better. Download it today. My men are very, very hot. News Channel 6 wants you to join our team. We're looking for talented engineers in a variety of fields. To see a current list of job openings, visit wjbf.com slash workforce Join our team today. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. Taking a look at our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview Cam, where we've got a shot of a beautiful sunrise, a bright beaming sun, kind of giving us a little peachy skies mixed in there with the blue. You must know it's time for the Peach Festival, right? So temperature-wise, it's nice and warm, 68 degrees here in Augusta, in the 70s in most other places. Winds nice and light coming from the southeast at 5 miles per hour. So some other temperatures across the map. So lots of warmth around the southeast, 
75 in Nashville, 77 in Little Rock, and lots of 60s and 70s across the board. So certainly feeling pretty warm out there for many places. Big picture with our satellite and radar. Not a whole lot going on in the southeast as far as the clouds go. And see the cold front here. Normally when we see that, that means we have relief on the way. But unfortunately, this is a very weak front, and we will not have any benefits of any colder air moving in as it is certainly warm out there, and it will continue to be a warm weekend for us. Our farmers forecast, little improvements there. Still have a couple spots in Hancock, Barmel, and Bamberg counties. They're in that first level of drought, so very dry out there. There is a teeny tiny chance of some afternoon showers and storms this afternoon. Overall, though, I'm going to keep it at zero, but just know there is a chance of some afternoon storms, so hopefully that will happen in the places that we need it most, especially in those areas in Hancock, Benberg, and Barnwell counties. So again, keeping it at zero, but keep in mind there could be some afternoon pop-up storms. A better chance, I think, will come in on Father's Day, unfortunately, but again, keep in mind we need that rain because it is very dry for the next several days, and we are well behind where we should be this month with average rainfall. So let's look at that future cast where I can kind of show you what I'm talking about with the pop-up storms. So this morning, nice and clear there for us. As we go into the afternoon, we'll start to see a few clouds start to play in there, and that's about the time that front comes through. So we'll see an increase of moisture, and also with the lift of that front, that's where we could see some afternoon showers and storms kind of pop up in there. Looks like mainly south of I-20 and to our east. I think a lot of this will stay in the Midlands, but we could see some beneficial rain there, right there in the southeastern CSRA as well, and that's in the afternoon and evening hours for your Saturday. Then clouds kind of persist throughout the overnight hours and into your Sunday morning. A little bit cloudier for your Sunday, so that will keep those temperatures a few degrees cooler. But then notice when we get in the afternoon hours, we have those pop-up afternoon storms as well. Very scattered, very isolated, but there is a chance. So we'll hold on to that. Even if it is on Father's Day, we still need the rain, and they will be quick in nature and scattered. Clouds will continue throughout the overnight as well. So official summertime begins in five days, but Mother Nature did not get that memo as we've got that summertime heat already today. We're going to be in the upper 90s for your Saturday, keeping it in the mid 90s for your Sunday, or if you want to call it relief, into the lower 90s by Monday. But the heat indices is certainly something we're concerned with because when you factor in that humidity, it's going to feel more like triple digit heat throughout your weekend. So certainly stay hydrated and stay cool and limit your time outdoors if possible. So 10 day forecast, lots of heat for your weekend. Again, can't rule out some afternoon pop up thunderstorms both Saturday and Sunday, but then we're back to full on Sunday sunshine on Monday and kind of leveling out those temperatures a little bit back to average. Certainly still hot, but you know, lower 90s, we'll take it. Okay, lower 90s, we'll take it. <laughs> Sherry, thank you. Well, parents getting quite a surprise on Disney Plus. We have both details next. Here's what's new at Waynesboro Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. New 2023 Challengers, just $4.69 per month. $4.69. Incredible selection, huge discounts. Take the short drive on Highway 25. Good to go, Waynesboro.com. Arthritis in your best of Metro Chamber.com.
So usually Disney means family-friendly movies and shows, but now you can stream Saw. Here's why. Disney's merging with Hulu into Disney Plus, so those with the bundle will see Hulu contents also. And if you only have Disney Plus, it won't affect you. Parents, you can set content rating limits. Kids counts to filter out the content. I'm still laughing about the X-rated part. <laughs> when it should have been R-rated. So you have Disney Plus, right? I do, and I have the bundle, so I need to put that on my list to mm -hmm. um, change the content for my little one, because, yeah, we don't need to watch in horror movies. <laughs> yeah, that would be surprising. <laughs> Flipping through the channel, the movies, and, like, oh, Saw, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, but... I guess that's great. You get more content for the money if you want it. But you know it's going to go up anyway. It's constantly increasing. Yeah, yeah. What else we got? Oh, I love this one. So when these fans are talking about the chain's newest Frosty, it's the Triple Berry Frosty. It's built Wendy's largest and juiciest flavor yet. So it's bright purple. It's made of strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And it got a lot of mixed reaction. Mm, that sounds good to me. It looks like Pepto-Bismol. If you look really oh look at goodness. it. Oh my goodness. It does. It's pink. The pink's good. I mean, that's the color of the berries. It's and gotta then, be pink. Then it looks like Play Doh. Oh my goodness. It looks like medicine to me, Sherry. Well, I'm gonna try it and I'll come back and let y'all know. Okay, yeah, please let us know. We're coming up on Good Morning Augusta. Federal officials are investigating several plane incidents. We have those details coming up. A person sent to New York where Gio Benitez is standing by with a look at what's coming up on Good Morning America. Good morning. And good morning to you on this Saturday. Coming up here on GMA, Florida in a state of emergency. Residents scrambling to manage the damage after days of rain and flooding. The warnings as we see yet another threat of more severe weather. And terror in the air. Passengers on an amusement park ride in Oregon stuck, stranded, dangling upside down from their seats. Emergency teams coming to the rescue. Plus Princess Kate said to make her first public appearance since announcing her cancer diagnosis. She's part of the King's birthday celebration, Trooping the Color. We're going to go live to London to speak with our royal contributor there, and that is all coming up right here on GMA. We'll see you soon. Folks, you know what? You know protect what? your family the way I protect mine with MurphyFamilyInsurance.com. Live from Television Park, this is Good Morning Augusta on WGBF News Channel 6. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Sean Cabbage Doc. The FAA is investigating at least two concerning mid-air incidents involving Southwest Airlines. Here's Chuck Severson. Just as Americans start their summer vacations, the Federal Aviation Administration says it's investigating how a Southwest Boeing 737 MAX 8 fell within 400 feet of the ocean off the coast of Hawaii. Bloomberg reporting inclement weather caused an aborted landing attempt. Citing a Southwest memo, the report saying, the less experienced first officer inadvertently pushed forward on the control column, then cut the speed, sending the airplane downward. Soon after, a warning system sounded alarms that the jet was getting too close to the surface, and the captain ordered the first officer to increase thrust. The April flight was diverted back to Honolulu. No injuries were reported, and Southwest says the event was addressed appropriately. Then a second Southwest Boeing 737 MAX 8 en route from Phoenix to Oakland last month experiencing a Dutch roll. A Dutch roll in an airplane is when the nose changes position and the, also the bank angle of the airplane. So if you were in the cockpit, it would be describing sort of a figure eight on the horizon. An FAA incident report saying the flight regained control and post-flight inspection revealed damage to the standby power control unit. No one was injured. In a third investigation, the FAA probing how counterfeit titanium ended up in passenger jets. The parts supplier says it's since removed the defective parts from production. Boeing and Airbus say they've run extensive tests and determined planes with those parts are still safe to fly. As of now, this is not something for passengers to be concerned about. The NTSB would have grounded the fleet if they saw something that they were really concerned about. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York. And let's check in with Sherry for another check of the forecast. Hey, friend. And it's a 
beautiful morning in Aiken. If we can switch up. There we go. All right. So we're looking at our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview Cam in Aiken. We've got a bright, sunshiny morning there and already heating up. Current temperature right now in Aiken, 74 degrees under that sunshine. 73 in Edgefield, 72 in Thompson. Still in those upper 60s here in Augusta, but for the most part, everybody in those upper 60s to lower 70s. Winds nice and light coming from the south-southeast up to about 5 miles per hour this morning. So satellite and radar, big picture. Not a whole lot to see there. Even though you see that cold front, don't let it fool you as it is very, very weak and will certainly not bring us anything cold in regards to temperatures. As we look at our feels like meter, air temps today rising into the upper 90s, but when you factor in that humidity, going to feel more like triple digit heat. That's right. So some of the hottest temperatures we felt so far this year. So definitely keep that in mind as you celebrate throughout the weekend. Make sure you're staying hydrated and of course stay indoors as much as possible and soak up that AC. But it's going to be a hot one as we're looking at those hot temps consistent throughout the day today and tomorrow. I'll have all the details on your Father's Day weekend forecast all coming up. Back to you, Sean. All uh, right, sounds good, my friend. Thank you. Well, breaking into our newsroom, a body was found on Martin Luther King Boulevard today. According to the sheriff's office, the person was discovered in the Dollar General parking lot this morning. Investigators believe that person has suffered multiple blunt force traumas. The person was pronounced dead at the scene just before 6 o'clock. The autopsy is scheduled. We don't know that person's name yet. Moving now to a major Supreme Court ruling, the U.S. Supreme Court has overturned a federal ban on bumps, bump stocks. Here's Rashad Huss. Thank you. Ahead of Father's Day, a dad and daughter are sharing their travel experiences and how those memories brought them even closer together. We have both details next. The Live Viper 6 Skyview Network, sponsored by Terry Lambert Hyundai. Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Christina. Be sure to tune in this Saturday for Local Living at 9.30. We're talking real estate. We get a visit from a furry friend. Plus, we're eating local. Don't miss it. Saturday at 9.30. Local Living, Saturday morning at 9.30 on News Channel 6. Cars are smarter. John Boy and Associates today. We'll take a look at this. And then he passes out. A FedEx driver is recovering after collapsing right after ringing a doorbell. It happened Thursday in Pennsylvania. The homeowner was home and called 911. A local senator, who was also the man's neighbor, rushed in to help. It was a miracle all these things happened, and I hope it's all for the best. Like, I hope this guy, don't know his name yet. I don't know anything about him other than he's he's has a fighting chance. And, uh, and yeah, so... Stars did align. I'm pulling for him. I'm praying for him. I know that uh, Mark and I have talked today, and we've been thinking about him all day. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, hopeful, and I pray for his family for a quick recovery. And both men say it's a miracle they were home at that moment. The Family Adventures and National Lampoon's Vacation movies are legendary, but Charlotte family might have them beat. John Lee shows us how. Here, here's well, here's so six of us again. Their vacation photos open the floodgates. This is a sliding rock here. The old house family has great memories in the great outdoors led by Dad Marty. We were camping as a means to get out together and, and, and enjoy nature. As a teen, daughter Grace Lai was along for the ride. So I knew that he wrote down everything that happened after our disastrous trip. My poor, unsuspecting family's vacation to the wilderness of Western Canada. Marty felt compelled to document his family's wild adventure back in 94. From bear scares to the kindness of strangers to his wife's bloodshed. Whoa, stand by for the deets. The fact that everything you're going to read here actually happened. Now, Grace once worked in the White House for George W. Bush and later CIA. Years later, she read her father's journal and saw a literary gold mine. And after I read it, I thought, you know, if I just tweak this a little bit, I could make it appeal to a broader audience. When you get to the part about the bears, well, they weren't quite as big as I said they were. Their father-daughter collaboration is 10 for 7, a camping adventure gone south, out west. The vacay took a scary turn when Marty's wife, Jolene, tried to climb her way out of the window of a locked restroom. There was glass cuts everywhere. So she falls onto the ground, bleeding profusely. And I'm kind of going, whoa. And, and the, the gentleman looks up at me and he goes, doctor. A 
couple came out of nowhere to help, which is a theme in the book. Jolene recovered. Somehow, the family trip continued. When we hopped in the van and I started following the ambulance, uh, the main thing on my mind, uh, I have to uh, keep it together so the little kids are okay. The duo says 10 for 7 was a labor of love. I just feel like I have a more of an appreciation for the people in my life and that I was able to do this project with my dad. Like, wow, as, as much difficulty as we went through on that trip, um, I think it sort of cemented what we were trying to do, and that is having the family be cohesive. Clearly, they're both on the same page. Writing about old times never gets old. I spend that time with him, because I know there are people who would love to spend just a little more time with people in their life. In Charlotte, John Lee. And John did it again. Sherry has another check of your forecast next. Safe for Street and Community Trust are essential. I'm Sheriff Richard Roundtree, and I need your vote on June 18th. Keep Richard Roundtree as your sheriff, the leader with the experience. Let's come together June 18th to keep our community safe and stronger than ever. Cruise into the community. Under Sheriff Roundtree's leadership, gang violence has been reduced. My major objective has always been to reduce crime and to protect our citizens. Keep Sheriff Roundtree as your sheriff. Let's bring it home with your vote on June 18th. The WGBF Live Viper 6 Skyview Network is sponsored by Terry Lambert Hyundai. Low prices, big selection, and committed to quality customer service. Now, your most accurate forecast with WGBF Live Viper 6. Good morning and welcome back. Check out these beautiful blue skies on our Terry Lambert Hyundai Skyview Cam here in Augusta. So it looks like not a cloud in sight and winds nice and light. Stars and stripes nice and calm there this morning. 68 degrees here in Augusta. Most of the CSRA already in the 70s though under that sunshine. Winds, like I said, nice and light coming from the southeast right now at only five miles per hour. So looking at the big picture with our satellite and radar, not a whole lot going on on the east coast. Even though you see this cold front here, don't let it fool you. And it's very weak in nature and there's nothing cold happening here this weekend. Lots of heat. But we do have some action here in Omaha, home of the College World Series. So good many storms coming through right now. But they should be pushing off just in time for a showdown with my NC State Wolfpack at 2 o'clock against Kentucky, but right now that's about where all the action's happening is in Omaha. So back at home today, the main thing we are concerned with, not only the heat, but also the humidity. So looking at our sticky meter as we go through the day, it's already pretty sticky out there in the morning hours, but as we go through the afternoon, notice we creep into that extremely humid category. So we're looking at dew points in the upper 60s to possibly right at 70. So that's going to make it feel even hotter than it already is. So air temps already some of the hottest we've seen this year at 97 degrees for today. But when you factor in that humidity, it's going to feel more like triple digit heat. And that will be the same case tomorrow, just a few degrees cooler thanks to more cloud cover. And then we'll get a little bit of relief starting on Monday, but certainly going to be a hot Father's Day weekend. So keep that in mind. You want to be either in the water, on the water and drinking plenty of water to make sure you stay hydrated in this heat or just kick it inside in the AC. See, that's probably the best place you could be, right? So rain chances, I've got zero down, but I want you to know that there could be a chance of some afternoon to evening pop-up storms. Very, very few, but there is a chance, so fingers crossed there. But then better chance coming in on Sunday afternoon. Again, just some scattered afternoon thunderstorms, but overall mainly dry for the next couple of days. And we've got a long ways to go to catch up to average, so it is dry out there. So any rain we can get, we'll take it, right? So looking at the future path, I'll play it out for you. So very clear this morning, as we can see on our sky view cam, but as we go through the afternoon, we'll start to see some clouds start to build, build in about the same time that that cold front moves through. And with that, that's when we'll see a little bit of moisture kind of creep in there. Very spotty in nature, though. But in our southeastern counties, we could see more of a convective unit there, so could see those afternoon pop-up storms. Again, though, that's late in the evening, though, so not going to affect any plans 
outdoors for the most part today. Those clouds will stick around throughout the morning on Sunday. And then as we get into Sunday afternoon, kind of the same story there. We'll start to see just those little cells pop up there with some rumbles of thunder throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours on Sunday as well. So again, nothing to change any outdoor plans, but there is a chance to so just keep that in mind and be weather aware, especially if you have outdoor plans celebrating dad throughout the weekend. If that thunder roars, move indoors. So speaking of Father's Day weekend, here's your forecast. It's certainly a hot one at 97 degrees today, but keep in mind with the humidity, going to feel more like triple digit heat. A few degrees cooler on Sunday thanks to that cloud cover, but still certainly a warm one with temperatures in those mid 90s and of course can't rule out those scattered afternoon storms. So your 10 day forecast, lots of heat for the weekend, and then we're back to sunshine on Monday and Tuesday and getting more like seasonable temps in those lower 90s starting on Monday. That's your forecast and we'll be right back. Experience the beauty. It's a hot one out there today as we're looking at temperatures in the upper 90s, but when you factor in the humidity, you're going to feel more like triple digit heat. So make sure you're staying hydrated, stay cool as possible as you celebrate dad this weekend. Expect the heat and also some afternoon showers and storms. And we will see you at nine. Join us, okay?